Hello, my name is Lise Walker. I am the artistic director of the Strike Anywhere Performance Ensemble. What is water worth? Over the last year and a half, I've been interviewing people for a show that I'm creating about fracking. I've been interviewing people in Pennsylvania about how fracking has affected their lives. And the stories have been shocking. I wanted to share a quote from one of my interviews with Stephanie and Chris Pollowich. We've had numerous water tests done. We've had unsafe levels of heavy metal, but we've also had man-made chemicals, tourine, ethyl benzene, tetrachloroethylene, and styrene. So needless to say, we used it for a year and a half to cook with, to bathe the children in, and we had no idea. I mean, it would smell occasionally, but we didn't have a clue. The dogs were getting sick, and that was our warning sign. We dropped about five, six thousand dollars just last year alone on water. And our water well has an outstandingly large amount of water in it. So it's not as if we went dry. We've got water. It's just we can't drink it. We can't touch it. We can't bathe in it. What is water worth? 400 families in Chris and Stephanie's town signed gag orders, lifetime silence, for two years worth of drinking water. Scott Stringer said today it was a roll of the dice. 16 million people's drinking water, water for four states, 90% of New York City's drinking water. If we pollute this water, it will make the BP spill look like a child's play. Do you really want this to be your legislative legacy? We have the opportunity to lead the country, to make a really big statement to the world. New York could be the first state to ban fracking. Yes. We can show the world what water is worth. We know how much the oil industry values this gas, three million, just this year alone to the Cuomo camp. I've asked people what they thought water symbolized in my interviews, and they have said over and over again, water is life. So I ask you, please, safeguard 16 million people's lives. It's worth it.